What is happening, guys? And we are back with more of the Walking Dead, the Telltale Definitive series. Yeah, guys, after we've done the 400 Days DLC last week, we are back to the main series. But we're about to play Episode 1, Season 2. And honestly, guys, this is... It's sad. I'm, I'm really miss Lee. Lee was the one of the greatest characters in video game history. And it's so sad that they killed him off. But this is where the kind of past of the tortures it was. Because in this game, we play as Clementine. I cannot wait to get into this, guys. Honestly, playing Clementine is fun, but she's not Lee. Clementine's iconic in her own right as well, but Lee is, is The Walking Dead, the Telltale series, anyway. So I cannot wait to get into this, guys. Honestly, love you all. Let's do it. Previously on The Walking Dead. What's your name? I'm Clementine. You've been all by yourself through this? <laughs> I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. It's how the world works now! We are those bad people dead? I hope you know what you're doing with her. I got it! Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are. Clementine, I, I think it'd be safer for you to stay here with Ovi. Clementine? Clementine! Oh. Oh. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. I We I saw my parents. I know. You have to shoot me, honey. We no. That told me that Krista Sad loving for this man. that remains what do you think oh me you can't be serious I am we are not doing that why not because come on Krista what's wrong with Omid we're not calling our baby Omid one of you is enough Clementine, a little help here. Omid the second. No. Omid is a good name. I like it. Thank you, Clementine. You always agree with him. Because I'm always right. I like Omid's a name. You're not taking this seriously. I take everything seriously. Especially little Omid's future. Keep talking, and you'll be sleeping in the rain tonight. Remember that time in Barstow? Vegas weekend? Why don't you, uh, uh, get cleaned up in the girls' room, Clem? I hope the sink works in there. I wouldn't count on it. Just be careful and make sure to keep track of your things. We'll be right next door. Okay. Best not to shout. How oh, gross. There's gonna be something in this last one, something's gonna jump at me or some shit like that. Good, no one's here. That's kinda 
Guess it's safe to get cleaned up. for Clementine's stuff, oh this isn't going to end well. I'd get in front of her. We'll try to get away anyway. My gun. It's mine now. Give it back. Why should I? Get out here. You got anything on you? Come on, let's see. No, that's all I have. That's it? How'd you make it this long? I'm serious, what else you got? That's it! Don't lie to me, I'll pop you. Give me what you got. I'm not screwing around, come on. I don't have anything! Give me that hat. No! Where'd you get it? I asked you a question. My dad gave it to me. Just give it to me. You got all that hat. Junk, junk, junk. Look at all this junk. Shit, shit, and more shit. Why you ain't got nothing good? Not like the last people I got. They had all kinds of good shit. That was a good catch. You ain't got nothing good. You're just a little fish. You gonna cry, little fish? This your daddy? Put a bows up. Oh, meat. So 
thought that was a shite waker and I thought we'd straight after that in episode 2, but holy fuck, episode 1, sorry. But holy fuck, that's sad. What a fucking intro, guys. Start of season 2, bang, Omen Steeds, like, holy fuck, man. It's never a happy ending when it comes to The, the Walking Dead, 16 months later. So Clementine's getting older. Krista, talk to me. <sighs> this will never work. Look at this. It's pathetic. The wood's too wet to burn. More smoke than flame. At this rate, we'll be eating this for breakfast. What else can we do? Find something that'll burn, maybe. I don't know. Won't be easy in the dark and in the rain. You should be doing this, not me. Tending a fire so you can cook and stay warm. It's something you have to be able to do, Clementine. Otherwise, Omid said that- I know what Omid said. I'm freezing. You think this is bad? Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about cold. If we make it. We still have a couple hard months ahead of us. This rain will turn to sleet. Then ice. Then snow. It won't be easy. Is it safe there? Safer than here because of the cold. Or so they say. We just need to keep moving north. Hi, Miss Lee. I'm sure you do. I'm gonna go look for more wood. You just keep the fire lit. I do, Miss Lee. I always thought it was mad she, she took that picture. Because he kind of ripped it in half because it had his family on it and she took the other half. <sighs> Kenny, Duck, and Catch, I remember them, man. So sad when they died. Was pulling at the heartstrings, man, straight away after that. Oh, me died next minute, fucking. It shows you pictures of Lee, Kenny, and Duck and Catcher. Just think about when we started. Like they found a group with Kenny now in Herschel's farm. All the shit that's happened for them till now, man. Like, fucking hell. Burn. Why didn't give me the option to look at it? 
This might burn. Add fuel to the campfire. There's no bothering any photos or layout of the drawing. It's just sad. You think you're fooling here? Give us the truth and you don't get hurt! <gasps> Fucking with me? Where's the rest of your group? I, I'm by myself! Bullshit! She's lying! Cut the shit, lady! It's it's just me! Come on, guys! She's not sane! <laughs> what the Krista, fuck? Krista, run! Start to this game, man. Holy fuck, I don't remember it being this exciting. Holy shit, guys. So much shit has happened in the first fucking 10, 15 minutes, however long, man. I like nearly 20 minutes, but Jesus Christ. I did not expect that. Some part, guys, I played this, these games years ago. Some parts I remember. I know the majority of the story, but some parts I would, like, forget as well, man. It's good. That's why it's always good to come back to these type of games. <coughs>
Where am I supposed to go? Climb up that, that's a bit of a reach man. Oh, this is gonna break, you just got a pure funny feeling into it. Oh, I was right, it was a bit of a reach. And she proved me right, she feels kind of tight. See, we've been shell said he. Shell. That's that? fucking a tongue twister. There? Chris, I ain't here. See what being cell shaded? If I've said that probably, uh, that would like, be about the beach that could have been me in the, uh, the game 13. Shell shaded. That's got me all tongue tied. Oh fuck. Yeah, that bit where you just wake up on the beach, you have to walk along the beach and they'll try, people try to kill you. 13's a great game, I've not played it on my channel yet, but I want it in the future. Grave. I think one of the hardest choices in these type of games is when you've been bitten, do you want to turn? I don't think I would want to do that. I don't think I'd turn into, want to turn into anything. No, no, everybody has a choice. But if you had the choice, I th and you've been bitten, kind of like the way Lee was, see the way Lee ended, when you, you had a chance to just leave him to turn or shoot him. Uh, I chose shoot him because I don't think well, you'd want to turn into anything if you have the choice. Because most people that get eaten are just. But dragged down by all the other zombies, eh, and they automatically turn. But Lee was bitten, but, get, but killed it and got away. Twelve thirteen, man, in the woods, completely lost. I'd be finished, man. If I was, if I was like that, man, I'd struggle with the answer. So I don't know what the fuck I'm up. I struggle with the new man, the level 20. 23 to be exact. I don't know why I didn't just say twenty three. <coughs> oh god. I miss you that bit until dawn. I like you. You, you zoom in on my thing when a big bird flies out of nowhere and you shit yourself. Oh, I did anyway. <gasps> Is that a fox? Oh, it's a dog! I, 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 I never saw a tail. It's okay, boy. It's okay. Okay, you don't like that. Got it. Sorry. I like dogs. What's he doing? <coughs> hey, what'd you find, boy? Where are you going? Wait up! I don't like dogs because I'm allergic, and I think it makes my eyes puffy and... Your wall, I don't like. I think I'm starting to remember this bit. Oh, it's weird. I don't like it. He smells good. Hello?
looks pretty run over, but you never know. Let's look around for some food. Looks like they were a happy family once. I hope they left some food behind somewhere. See, the bad thing about Clementine is, like, she was, like, nine when the shit hit the fan. So she won't really have much memories when it's something like, well, like, your name's got a jail, so maybe not the happiest memories, but they would have had memories of life, not that. Like, something like, kind of means to be like Ellie in The Last of Us as well. She would have known life other than fucking zombies and shit. I don't think I could live like that either. Hmm, nothing edible. <sighs> no food here either. Like jank grow with a corner. <laughs> hey boy, what's the matter? of a tent anymore. I bet scavengers tore it apart. Yeah, that's definitely been hit, man, isn't it? No, I don't want to go frisbee. I don't want to play with the dog. Hey, want to play? Want to play catch? Fine, it's your decision. Do what you think is right. I think anyone's been sleeping in here? I can't tell. Do you think of frisbee games? I just think of the Wii Sports frisbee game. That was pretty fun. When you throw it, it really catches it. Oh, so one of them top. It's okay. He's dead. Look. You can see the bite. Looks like he tried to cut it out. It's okay. We're smart. He's not. We're smarter than all of them. Oh, she's taking Henry Philly. Okay. My head's not going to be enough, surely. <coughs> yeah, and yeah. Stay out of their reach. <sighs> Still pretty sharp. At least we found something useful. We won't go another night without food, okay? Imagine nothing. 
I think the end goal was just to get the knife. Nobody around here, I was just saying, nobody around here. on the grill, nothing in the cooler. Ugh, I hate scavengers. They take everything. No, oh, to be fair, that's why they're called scavengers. They scavenge. Not nice people, but that's still named Sinatayo. And I'm just walking into a fucking rock. And not the cool rock like Dwayne. Bad rock like what they're going. Where did Doug go? He's still chilling in front of a zombie. I don't know why I play Frisbee with the fucking Doug. There, guys. Hey, wanna play? Wanna play catch? <coughs> okay, bring it back. Good boy, good boy. Time for the cause. <laughs> Want to go again? I feel like if you keep asking him, <coughs> you'll eventually tire it and just go, No. Good catch, though. That was good catch. I bet you miss this. I sure do. Go. Mr. Diamond. Oh my God! Thank you. Look, a can. <gasps> Let's see what's inside. I've I looked everywhere, but well, the actual food is. That's just my luck, isn't it? Please don't be bad. I guess you are pretty hungry too. Here you go. Hey, you don't eat it all. Oh, <sighs> 
Fuck. Oh, should you have attacked Bobby David? I'm sorry. I think, I think we're safe. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Hey, you all right? I, I think so. What are you doing out here? Where are the, uh, the people you're with? There's no chance you made it this long on your own. I don't want them thinking we're doing anything but trying to help you. My friend and I got attacked. Hmm. These folks mention what they were after? They might have just wanted food. We were cooking some sort of weasel. They attacked you for a weasel? Damn. That is low. They didn't mention any names, right? They weren't searching for anybody? Hmm. Well, I'm Luke, and this is Pete. Hey there. Hi. I'm Clementine. It's nice to meet you, Clementine. But for now, we're gonna take you back to our group. Okay, we got a doctor with us, and you look like you could use some- OH SHIT! <laughs> what? What is it? <laughs> she's- She's been bit, man. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What are we gonna do here? No, it was a dog. I didn't see any dog, Clementine. Come on, kid. 
We just saw you with those lurkers back there. It was. I swear. Swearing doesn't make something, so... No, no, no. I'm telling you the truth. Please! Watch yourself. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're the one that's bit here, okay? See? Is it, uh, is it like she says? Hmm. Well, it could be a dog. Hard to say. So where'd this dog go? The one that did this. What, what does that matter, Pete? Seriously. I... I killed it. What? Really? A dog shows up and bites you and you just kill it? What would you have done? I don't know. It attacked me. Still, you don't... You don't kill dogs. Clementine? Yes? You telling us the truth? You look me in the eyes when you answer. Yes. Right, Clementine. That's good enough for me. Well, what else was she gonna say? I've got a good bullshit detector, Luke. That's why you can never beat me at poker. <laughs> you don't always beat me at. All right, how can you be sure? Well, I'm sure I ain't willing to leave a little girl in the woods to die when we got a doctor with us that can make a call. We can have Carlos take a look at it first. Nick ain't gonna like this. Not with what happened. You don't have to remind me of that, boy. Right. Sorry, sir. Come on. Clementine, are you feeling all right? I'm fine. Just tired. Well, you better be fine, because I ain't carrying you anymore with that bite on your arm. Don't worry about... Ah, oh, shit. That's what... That happened to Lee when he did get bit. Remember the bit where he was trying to open the elevator? And he just collapsed after being bit. And he's trying to think Clementine. She already told us that she and her friend were attacked. Then she was bitten by a dog. What? Like and you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. I'm not worried. Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Oh, whoa, what the fuck? You idiot. Every lurker for five miles probably hurt. You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? I'm not. I'm not working for anyone. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I just need help. We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now, what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. <laughs> it's okay. Go ahead, he's a doctor. Must have hurt. I, oh. hmm. Whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> Uh, I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would, if it means saving her life. You don't want to do something you're going to regret. Better to be sure, right? Come on. She weighs about as much as a sack of flour. We can take her if it comes to that. Who's she? Sarah. What I say, stay inside.
I don't mean to be any trouble. I just want to stop the bleeding and then I'll go. You'll never see me again, I promise. And where exactly would you go? To find my friend Krista. Forget it. You won't get five feet. Look, I don't know what the hell took a bite out of her, but still, she's just a kid. Worst case, she turns, and we can deal with it. So, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that? Could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? Oh. We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. We have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Out with it. Out please. But yeah, we can't do nothing. <laughs> I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. If it turns out you're telling the truth, I'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But... I'm sorry. It's the best we're gonna get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's all right. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. This is just a waste of time. You'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the shed. It was a dog. You'll see. I guess we'll find out in the morning. If I last that long, maybe you could go look for it? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry. It was a dog as well. The truth, obviously, he's a fucking dumb. Him. Because it's safer this way, and I'd rather be sure. Yeah, it's safer for who? <sighs> I can't believe this. Lost in the rain. Can you kind of leave? That's a wee bit, isn't it? Sounds barrel. Remember the two brothers were talking? Why are you whistling them? Why are you whistling in the rain? Why are you whistling in the rain like a damn fool? Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. Fuck, she's not gonna dare herself, is she? <laughs> no, nice, nice way, no strong enough. I know she won't be, especially with one arrow. Did I not see a hammer? Yeah, I did. Who's that? Why did the game when she random shit, man? One. A large stick. Awesome. Oh, there you go. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Oh. Ah. 
Hvis der er bare det, der med svøv. Åh, der er fucking så. I still went with the horns, I don't know why guys, I apologize. Sorry if I offended anybody there. If I remember, you have to go under the house. Know what I wanted to read, they can't take them back up the fucking stairs. Don't bang on the window, Jesus Christ. It makes me feel like a fucking idiot when we're not on the same page. We are on the same page. Not out there, we weren't. Not about the girl. I saw you get soft. What do you want me to do, Beck? Put a bullet in her? I want you to think about our family first. That's all I think about. So don't give me any shit. I need some air. What the hell are you doing? I... I need your help. Me? No. I'm sorry, but I can't do nothing. Please. I need to fix my arm. Are you out of your mind? Even if you ain't bitten by some lurker, which you probably are, you can't be here. You gotta get out of here, you understand? Get back into that shed and Carlos will take care of you in the morning. Damn it, girl, go! You just let me die? I wouldn't let you do nothing. It's not my call. We're a group. But you could help. And if you don't, isn't that the same? I don't know, all right? I'm serious. You need to get out of here. I saw when everyone was arguing. You wanted to help. You didn't see anything. Look, you gotta get out of here before my wife finds you. I'm serious, you gotta go. I got enough problems already. I got a baby on the way, Rebecca's all emotional. I got a mess of hormones causing all sorts of trouble. Please help. Please. Don't cry. I'm not gonna cry. I'm just tired. You're not with Carver. No. And you didn't get bit by a dead person? No. I'll do anything I can to help your situation. Anything. Except leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I'm screwed if anyone finds out I did this. You understand? Yes. What do you need? The bu the cut on my arm needs to be cleaned and stitched. Stitched? I ain't doing that. I'll figure it out on my own. All right, look, I don't know what I can find. We're short on bandages, but I might be able to find something clean that will work. I need something to clean it out with, and a needle and thread could help too. I don't even know where to look. Carlos has medical supplies on lockdown. We don't got much these days. Well, whatever you can get, I'll find the rest on my own. Okay, wait here. Alvin's a good guy. some bandages and I uh I got you a juice box in case you're thirsty oh what legend thank you Alvin house meeting in five minutes oh okay thanks now you need to go
Which I remember you. You can go under the house, but I completely forgot about that bit. And I prefer that I don't trust that way at all. Stick to it where you know. Should I still have the hammer? Yeah. So that was dangerous, like the guys with that whole zombie's been right there. Disney breaks, so it's like boom. Oh. And of course it broke. But we got in there in the end. I didn't even see anything when she lifted the lid. I have no idea if that's safe or not. Well, Luke has more to say, I guess. Where's Sarah? She's got her book. She doesn't need to be a part of it. We don't know. She's connected to somebody. There's no way she's out here by herself. She said she was with a friend and they got attacked. Yeah, right. Whoever she's with, they'll probably come looking for her. You mentioned this Carver guy. Jesus Christ. Look at my what options man. No, that's the way I came in. Oh my god. Ah, there we go. I was wondering how we get upstairs. I was like, you can get upstairs.
clean. I'll still need something to keep it from getting infected. Certain, Nido. Alvins? Oh. See guys, I've played all these games and they're fun and great. I've never played the last season. So, last season's gonna be new to me. I will have no idea. I'll never put the demo. And there's a car crash. No way to spoil anything. Uh, I can't spoil it because I don't know. And then that was all played. And then I just never went back to it because Telltale died. So I'm glad I'm playing all these games together again. Shh. You're not supposed to be in here. Hi. Can you please help me? I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. me and I won't tell him. I... I'm hurt. Please help me. I, well, I shouldn't. What happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. I bet it hurts. I could die if I don't take care of it. Do you understand? need something to clean it with. I bet it would be with the rest of your medical supplies. Yeah, it is. I'll help you. Good. Thank you. I'm Sarah. I'm Clementine. We're friends. Right? We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. Hard to be the only girl, you know. Rebecca is okay, but she's old, and that's it. Yes, we are friends. Promise? She's it's surprised. important. Friends have to trust each other, no matter what. Do you promise or not? I promise. I promise. Me too. Friends. I wish she thought she wants to get pinky swear where her arms bleeding. Pinky swears forever. See if I can find the stuff my dad uses when I get a cut. Let me look around. I think this is it. That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry. I won't. Thanks, Sarah. Okay, I better get somewhere safer to do this. It's good that Alvin and Sarah helped her. I can't see that the way down there. Aye. It was because the setting's so dark and the shadows blended in. This is 
gonna suck. Really suck. Clean it first. Let's get a drink of the juice box before we start. Now, just like last time, just how Crystal showed me. Oh, God, guys, this is going to be a horrible to watch. HD graphics, but that is fucking wrong. I didn't see the hammer time, it just caught my eye the last second, man. <laughs> oh, he did not get fucked! Oh, I ah, you so doesn't matter what the time you saw the grab. I'm 
right, Julie. I should have went for the rake this time. Oh, fuck, yeah. You know what we're doing now, guys? So I knew what I was doing anyway, but I kind of fucked it. Try and go this time, see changes. Oh, I nearly missed it. Holy shit. What the? How the hell did he get in here? Little girl's tough as nails. Are you alright? I'm still not bitten. I never was. And you left me out here to die. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. You left me no choice. You could have just left. Relax, Rebecca. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn luck is sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? might hurt a little. Ow. How's she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. You wouldn't have done what you did. What do you mean? You manipulated my daughter. I asked for her help. She's not someone you can just ask for help. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially. But once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. You're forgiven. Just don't make any more mistakes. Why don't you just come in and start being cheeky to every cunt? His daughter, I get where he's coming from. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Better than losing it. I hate to say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stumps. Definitely. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for... for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... <sighs> we had a bad experience once. What happened? Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I 
It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. I feel it's sad. I do. Yeah. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I don't know. I'm kind of on my own now. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Okay, let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So... What happened to your parents, if you don't mind me asking? I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. Just so young, didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. They died. That's tough. I, uh, I lost my folks too. I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Well... I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it, but it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He taught me how to shoot a gun. What uh, happened to him? stupid. There was a man who said he knew my parents. I thought I knew what I was doing, but I ran away, and Lee died because of it. Maybe he would have died anyways. It was my fault. I just... Sometimes people die because of me. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner? Mm, wouldn't that be nice? That is what happened. Sad but true. You're still here. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Maybe you fooled everyone else, but not me. What? Who? Don't pull that shit on me. I'm not my husband. What? I'm sorry. I don't understand. Yes, you do. I just needed some help. Well, you got it. Now go. I'm sorry, okay? It's too late for that. I knew the moment you showed up, you'd be a problem. Stay the hell away from my husband. Whatever. Problem was again. I'm going with the. I'm going with the thing where there's no point in fucking driving cheeky people that in the first night. It's a new group. You want to get on well with everybody. Now that won't always happen, but it's start off things right, I guess.
How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. She's all talk. She doesn't scare me. She was in a mood last night, that's for sure. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. My friend Lee taught me. That's good. It's important nowadays. Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Oh, that's sad. Hey! Why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Because you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well I didn't know that. It's fine. He apologized. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. He doesn't hate you. Nick's father wasn't there much. And he was a piece of shit when he was. So it fell to me to keep him in line. Raise him right. Meant I couldn't just be nice Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete! Oh. Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Ah, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs, that much I know. Think about it. Your Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. What can I do? See if you can find anything else. Like what? Like what might tell us who did this. This one's shot, too. Through the head? Yeah. Yep. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low. Is that Carver guy, man? He could be dangerous. Can I help? I got it. Sorry for the little cut there. Just, I just don't know what the fuck I did. I've just realised something. See that guy that's been shot right there? That's Roman from uh, the 400 Days DLC. Oh, I never knew that. I just, I just really recognised him there. I thought he was moving there. I get scared. What's 
missed that. I got found something. There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky dink pissing match. What was it then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now! Jesus Christ, get a hold of yourself! What if someone's alive, Nick? Who cares? Cause they might just be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You wanna be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there, waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess, just like baiting a fish. I'm on it. You always so agreeable? No. Good. You'll fit right in with this outfit. Look, just keep your head on straight. Same deal. All shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. Good. Damn it. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were. That was the guys that, that attacked him and her and Krista. Fuck, you know. <coughs> what happened to you? <coughs> you were in the woods with Krista. The woman I was with. What happened to her? Please. Tell me. Tell me. <coughs> Please. <coughs> no refuse. Please. <coughs> I don't think you have told us anything. I'm fine. Just, just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Lurkers! I'm out of ammo. Come this way. Bitch. Damn it. You get your asses over here, both of you. I'll cover you. We gotta get out of here. Get over here, god damn it. Bitch, you look. Come on. Help me. Come on. Ben. I don't know if I should have helped Nick, it's just exploding on my head. I thought I was going to go for the heat. Oh. I'm still going to die, is this not going to go on? Probably a stunt kind of thing. Damn it! Nick! Oi, Cowie. We have to go. What are you going to do? Say 
say what his name was? We know damn well who it was. Who is he? One of the guys we were with before. What's he gonna do? I can't keep going. I figure we got about four, five more days to reach those mountains. We ain't here to rob nobody. Just relax and put the gun down, man. I'm sick of being screwed, feel my own adrenaline Yeah, I do just what I do And I hope you let me in, let me in, yeah